Circuit News Update. I'm Austin Bork. Corporate librarian Karen Lehman is retiring at the end of the school year. Lehman is just one of the 29 staff members at Warburg who are retiring and one of the five in the library alone. Lehman says she'll miss helping students most of all. What is really fun about being a librarian is every day is different. There is never anything that's the same. You are helping people at point of need. Starting first at Hampton Dumont, Lehman moved to Warburg after they opened up a teaching librarian position, something she was very interested in. Lehman says she'll miss her job, but looks forward to traveling and spending college, time with her family and, and friends. Warburg tennis player and captain Brandon Hornback is finding the time to not only excel on the tennis court, but also hold down a couple jobs and his academics as well. Head men's tennis coach Mike Stridham says Hornback is nothing he's ever seen before. During peak season, he's probably washing, hanging and drying 700 loops on top of all of his workout schedule, on top of his full class schedule, on top of his tennis workout schedule. And so the guy's a machine. I don't know when he sleeps or when he does it, but it's pretty amazing. And in what little free time he has, Hornback strings rackets for members of his team and for those in the community as well. And since it can take in upwards of a half an hour for each racket, Hornback says it can eat up a lot of his free time. Outside of tennis, Hornback puts in shifts in the Warburg Athletics laundry room and sometimes stays up until 4 in the morning just to finish his shifts. Hornback says this can lead to a lot of late nights and early mornings doing homework. There is an ever-growing demand for nurses around the state of Iowa. Allen College School of Nursing Chancellor Jerry Durham says the combination of the retirement of the baby boomers and the access of health care through the Affordable Care Act are factors to the increasing demand. The American population, uh, which mirrors the nursing population, uh, ages, uh, those folks are simply going to need more rather than less uh, nursing and medical care than they've uh, needed in the past. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that in the next 10 years, there will be one million nursing positions that need to be filled. 18 new apartments in downtown Waverly are almost ready to be opened to the public for rent. The apartments were built due to Waverly receiving a grant after the devastating flood in 2008. Property owner Ann Segerman says it took a lot of work to turn these buildings into livable property. It, it was completely neglected and kind of forgotten about, so um, you had to have vision to actually imagine that ever being an apartment. The rooms will be complete with stainless steel appliances and will be fully furnished if the renters want. And in an effort to keep the money in Waverly, the appliances and furniture were all bought from local stores. From the Circuit Newsroom, I'm Austin Blake. Thanks for watching.